I'll start with some flour, it's just some plain flour. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to make it into two batches just because I like to have a little bit of choice with them. What do you mean a bit of choice now? Um, so I'm going to do some with raisins yeah. and some with walnut and cherry. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, yeah happy with that. Hi. So it's about 400 grams in each. Yeah, 450. Oh, 450? Yeah. Okay. That's the scone cutter there. I'm thinking yeah. you're going to get about 40 scones in total. Yeah, I probably do make quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I feed masses. I've worked in an office for the last few years. Um, so they just expect a lot to come. Like, there's no point in showing up with six scones. I know. So as a divide. result, all my <laughs> recipes are probably far too big. Do you always sieve your flour? I do, beforehand. with certain things. Gives you a lighter scone. Yeah, I think so. I think it's just one of those things you're always taught to do, so you do it. So, so I just put um, 50 grams of sugar there to split mm -hmm. between the two as well. Um, and I'm just going to put in the baking powder. Okay, so that's not a lot of sugar. So they'll definitely want you. They're not, yeah, they're not the sweetest scones. Um, so a little bit on top, like you were saying, and, and some jam. Yep. Well, this isn't unlike how I do scones, so I think I should be fine on this one. <laughs> Great. It'll just be the flour would be the challenge for me. I'm sure of that. Pinch of salt. Yeah, mm. but a pinch. It's not too mm. much, yeah. Mm. I just don't want to put my fingers in. Jeez. Right, okay. About this much, maybe? Yeah. And try and grind, grind it up down. a little bit. Yeah, I just so. Don't One thing I do up. know is that in the United States, you can buy a spoon that measures a pinch. Really? Yes, because I had a guest in uh, <laughs> our cookery school who was telling me this, she's from the United States, and she sent me a set of spoons subsequently. Oh, brilliant. It, so it measures a pinch, a smidgen, and a dash. A sm what's a smidgen? It's less than a pinch. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad that you would buy a spoon that measures no, a pinch, isn't it? It's ridiculous. It yeah. is crazy. Um, so yeah, okay. the butter next. Yeah. Um, I'm just measuring it as I go. So it's about 85 yeah. across the two. Do you tend to cut it by hand, or do you use a... I just, yeah, just... Yeah. I can kind do of that. tear it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah, that should be good. Plenty of flour will do the job nicely. 25 grams of this sugar. You don't rub the butter? You, it's just, just flaked in? Yeah. Okay. It's not too. Then I've probably overdone it. <laughs> I've ruined your recipe. It's okay, don't worry. I usually do it to breadcrumb stage. It's funny how we all have, and it's yeah. what you grew up on too. I'm just not too. I'm yeah. going to mix it again now. Did I, I just make yeah, sure that that's sure. Uh, right, that I didn't weigh anything crazy. Perfect. Happy with that? Yeah. And I just okay. get rub it through again, just yeah. I think it kinda helps. So it probably ends up as fine as yours. So, <laughs> so raisins about, or sultanas? Um well do you know I use raisins, but I actually really like sultanas too, so it really just depends. Whatever you have. Have you made these scones before over in the United States? Yeah, always. And have they got the same raisins? <laughs> Sorry, I know that's oh, yeah, such a basic yeah, yeah. question, yeah, no. but I don't know because the Californian raisins are huge big things and yeah. they're much different. No, I'm going to put in a few extra because it just looks a bit mean. Okay, so I won't, um, I won't come a cropper on something simple like that? No. Okay. They right. have them. And they have cherries and they have walnuts, so yeah, you're good. Yeah. 40 or 50 grams? Yeah. You don't need to be too strict with them. Um, okay. I normally put 40 grams, kind of mixed between the two, but I've just gone over there. It's just like, no, I didn't. Lately, I've been putting in a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> but the recipe says, don't mind. Um, but it won't ruin the recipe if I don't measure them exactly them. anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've eggs and... Three eggs. Three eggs. And the and milk. And the milk. And yeah. in total... Okay, so it's 290 per recipe. Perfect. Yeah, right. Including the eggs. Yeah. Okay, make it well. So I just pop it back there. on just to measure it. Sorry. What I am concerned about is, with the flour being different out there, yeah, I may need, need more liquid. More. Yeah, if it's a drier flour. Oh, I didn't weigh that much. <laughs> I just don't want to give you too much. You know, I like oh, to I, add yeah, to it and add so bit by bit. I think yeah. that's a really good idea. So just give it a rough guide. Of yeah. Now I think I might just hold back a bit. Do you do the one hand mixing trick then? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're singing out the same song sheet. <laughs> and I think as well the other thing is just as little mixing with scones as possible. Yeah. Well, this is something that I learned from my grandmother is the one hand mixing trick because by not putting two hands in, you're not likely to need the mixture. Whereas if you just put one hand in, you, you know, just lightly it bring it lighter. together. Yeah. And I just kind of stir it. I use my hand like a little mixer machine. Yeah. <laughs> I just need a tiny bit more liquid there. That's it. And then I'm good to go. I'm actually nearly there. Well, do you want yeah, to pour it, it so you know. Yeah. That 
should do it. Can you do it a little? And when you were saying about how um, some days you find you put more liquid in than other days, yeah. flour is actually a funny thing. It takes in moisture from the atmosphere. And okay. when you were saying about it being humid sometimes, yeah. at certain times of the year in Portland, yeah. that'll be an issue as well. So then you've got more, like it's more moisture, more water yeah. in the flour. Yeah. And are you teaching your little girls? As yeah, well, like some the one Emily in particular, she's a great little one, like because she's very particular and precise. Yeah. So like, if she sees her daddy doing anything the wrong way, like she's the first one to be like, "Daddy, that's not the way mommy does it." Like, <laughs> whereas Annabelle is just all over it. She'd be <laughs> eating this now. She'd be have half of it in her hair. Well, she's the youngest. Oh, isn't she? but she's, she's just for some reason she likes to put her hands straight into flour. So this morning I had her up here with a bag of flour and she was like, whoa. And she eats it and she thinks it's lovely. <laughs> but isn't it great that you can pass, you know, your knowledge and skills on to your, your girls and for them that'll be their taste of home. Exactly. And who yeah. knows, like in 20 years time they'll be doing what we're doing now. Exactly, again. passing it on yeah. again, yeah. And then do you flatten it? Yeah. Just like this. And about, would you say, I usually go about an inch to an inch and yeah, a half high. High like enough, that. like even yeah. though they're little, you get a nice rise on them, I think. So yeah, I use a, a small um, scone cutter. Mm -hmm. um, I hate when I'm out for scones and I get this massive big scone on my plate. I just don't think it's right. Um, I think they should be small. Small and delicate. Yeah. You really do learn from your, your parents how to cook though. Yeah. You learn all the little nuances. I think as well, um, when I was growing up, um, everyone was at home, like the mums were all at home. So, um, especially during the summertime, you'd go to somebody's house and it was all about what was going on for lunch or tea or, you know. If they could find you. Usually oh yeah, the kids yeah, went right, out right. and never came back yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Be out all day. They're lovely. I do, when you're talking about measurements though, I do remember being over there one year making scones and um, I don't know what I was doing or what I was reading or what was going on in my head, but I put in way too much baking powder and you could taste, oh, <laughs> my poor brother-in-law was looking at me going, really, what's going on? <laughs> now they go into, your oven's already on? Yeah. So I say about 10 to 12 minutes, but I keep an eye on them and yeah, you'll know when they're done.